Hey, how's it going? Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Today, let's talk about the best type of car to buy. If you live in a place where you need to have a car, the best type of car to buy, where you can save the most amount of money so you can be able to invest that money and eventually have financial freedom. I'm going to just tell you what worked for me in the last 10 years. I got tired of paying car notes. So, and I got tired of buying expensive cars. So I pretty much bought an inexpensive, economical Japanese car. I've always heard the rumors how Japanese cars were the longest lasting cars and the most mechanically sound cars to buy. And I'm gonna have to tell you, the rumor is true. I went out and bought a Toyota Corolla, a low end, bare bones Toyota Corolla. And I have not had one problem, not one maintenance issue with this car in over 10 years and over 100,000 miles. Not one. It's lived up to, the, to its reputation. All I've had to do was change the oil. And I think in the fifth year I had to get a battery. And that's it. Now, I, 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 oh, I had to change the brakes because that's just wear and tear. But no mechanical problems. Just general basic maintenance. Put in the gas and go. Now, is it the sexiest of cars? No. It's not the sexiest car. It's not the sportiest looking car. It's not the fastest car. But it gets me, it's gotten me from A to B and has allowed me to invest a substantial amount of money to where I can pretty much buy any kind of car I want. And pretty much say that I'm financially free. And I owe that all to the sacrifice of just buying a bare bones economic car, but choosing the right car that, that had the reputation for lasting a long time with no mechanical problems, no wasting hours in the waiting room of the uh, service center for service. Cause I've had, other, I had American cars, I've had European cars. Every four or five months, you're in the shop for something. It's a big headache. Just a big headache. But once, once I got the Toyota, no problems at all. I could just focus on stacking money, investing money every month. Instead of buying, paying $700, $50 a year, I mean a month, which is the average car note nowadays. I was able to invest that over 10 years. And then like in another video I, I gave that I created, invest a $750 a month with 5% interest in the basic stock market uh, index fund, total stock market fund, you will have over six figures. You will have well, well over 100,000. And if you invested in something more aggressive like Bitcoin over the last 10 years, you, you would be in the millions. 
So imagine paying $50,000 for a car, which really would eventually cost you $500,000 or a million dollars in the future because you, because of the opportunity cost. You lost the opportunity to invest because you chose to invest in a new SUV or a new luxury sedan or a new convertible sports car that you got bored with after four months anyway. People always say, when I, oh, I don't have any money to invest. Well, I'm showing you how, where you can get extra five to $700 a month. Get a bare bones uh, Toyota. Get a used one. Get one, a, a new one that you can pay off within a year. And in 10 years, it, you'll have a big uh, nest egg. You'll be on the cusp of financial freedom. It's that simple. Just avoid those, those car payments. That's the single biggest expense that people can eliminate if people would drop their ego. Drop that urge to try to impress other people. It's all it takes. It's a little sacrifice and dropping your ego, not caring what other people think. And, and actually, people don't care anyway. People don't care what you drive. People are more worried about themselves. So stay focused. Sacrifice. Get rich. Invest. The decisions you make now, the financial decision you make now, is going to make the future you either financially free in 10 years or living paycheck to paycheck in 10 years. Think about your future self. Your future self will thank you.